Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Jim. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be opening up some more Evolving Skies. Obviously in hopes to get some more of those uh, alt arts. I'm hoping to get that uh, alt art Rayquaza. Rayquaza. Whichever way we want to say it. But today while we're opening these, now obviously I don't have my lights quite the way it should be. Um, I haven't hooked up my secondary access point to get the... Uh, yeah, for baby, reverse and talent flame to get the Elgato lights synced up because uh, they only run on 2 4, and my current access point tries to push it on to the 5. But with that said, we do have some kind of big news. Obviously, everybody knows or should know, and or if you haven't, check it out. But uh, Charizard is getting his premium box. So that should be coming out before too much longer. We have reverse Sableye and a pincer. That is going to be a very hype set or release, I should say. I imagine that they would probably print it a lot, but you never know. Hopefully, it's uh, not one of those that only make so or very few of them, and you know, scalpers and everybody. As we have something here, probably just a V Max. Yeah, we got. Gerelodon VMAX, who's a pretty big hitter in the uh, Pokemon TCG world. But with that, um, I'm looking forward to the Charizard set, or the uh, Charizard Premium Collection. Uh, I'm going to hope to try to get one or two, but we'll see. And then uh, going from there, we got Lost Origin coming out right around the corner, right around the corner. And they already started releasing a new set. As we got a Northern V. So the next set after Lost Origins is already kind of spoiled. Um, it's got Silver Tempest, which uh, has a Lugia on it. And uh, another one of the arts is um, a Lowen Vulpex. So I'm excited to see that one come out. As we got Leafy on V that time. Really, really love these evolutions. They, they look so good in this set. But uh, with that, this should be the final set. Um, typically, Japan sends it, makes out their sets, and when they come out in America, they kind of water it down quite a bit, and they spread it out across multiple different sets. Try to hide that. But, uh, oh, kind of slipping out. So there we go. We got a Jolting on VMAX. Another Evolution. But, uh, they, they spread them out. So they spread out one of the, the Japanese or Japan sets uh, across these four sets, which was, uh, Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance, Lost Origins, and the final one is going to be Silver Tempest. Which, if you see or if you're trying to not spoil the, uh, Like the all the trainer galleries and stuff like that's coming out. Um, Lost Origins, for example, has some really really good ones coming out. But if you look at that compared to the Japanese set, these are all coming off of. You can kind of figure out which trainer galleries are going to be coming out in Silver Tempest. So I have not taken that close of a look myself. I know that uh, Lost Origins going to have some really 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 good trainer galleries in them so I'm going to focus on that first and then I'll look at Silver Tempest we got something here we got a little hit we got Dweeble Melotic and Umbreon VMAX there we go one of my favorite evolutions is the Umbreon Although, I, I mean, besides the fact that it has an amazing alt art, I like Glaceon a lot too, especially with that alt art, um, where it's just like sleeping on a bench in the snow. It looks really, really, really good. I have not been able to pull it, but it is one of my chases alongside the Rayquaza Rayquaza alt art. So those are the two that I'm still aiming for. All the other ones that... 
or in the set I wouldn't mind having, but nothing that I'm like really trying to go out and hunt myself. Just uh, looking for that Rayquaza, Rayquaza, Altar, and that uh, Glaceon as we got a Gyarados V. Gyarados, Gyarados, whichever way you want to pronounce that one. So yeah, we got a Pokemon Go event starting tomorrow. It's the, uh, the wrap up the Go Fest. So if uh, you w didn't do the uh, the first part of the Pokemon Go Fest, and uh, that would give you the free ticket for this event that's coming out Saturday, you can still purchase the uh, ticket. I think it's a uh, 10.99 if I'm not mistaken. But if you know somebody that did play in the the first one. Because the first one, if you played in the first one, you automatically get the second one for free. But if you didn't purchase it and you know somebody that did, they can gift you a cheaper version of, well, it's the same version, but it's a cheaper cost. Instead of the uh, 10 dollars it's only $4.99. So look out for those uh, friends that did play. See if they can get you a cheaper ticket. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the, those that are local to me, maybe I'll see you uh, roaming around a little bit. I'm going to try to be playing most of the day. Not exactly uh, too sure on what I'm going to aim for. I'm just going to go out, play, have fun. Hang out with some people. Maybe do some few raids here and there. I think they gave you like eight or nine free passes. So I'll probably hit those up. We got three packs left. Did fairly well in these 18 packs this time. Got a couple of VMAXs. Three and, what are we at? Three and three there? Here we go. Three and three. Not too shabby. It's got Glaring Articuno. Really like that card. The art looks really good. They did uh, release a little bit more in regards to the um, new games that are coming out for Gen 9. So if you haven't seen the uh, Pokemon Presents or anything like that, check that out. If they have a, a video out that's sh showing some like gameplay of the battles and everything like that, which is also revealing new Pokemon. As we are in our last pack, I want to go ahead and say thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate the support. We got Dracovolt V to end it. And again, thank you all. And I hope you guys have a great day.